Do you guys see Roger Lucas's statement? That was very true, brother. Yeah, I mean, uh, there definitely. it is right there. How'd you bring that back up, dude? I'm magic, Rick. That's fucking badass, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the, the defense, I'm, I'm a little concerned about the defense. Um, the second half, they picked it up a little bit. But nah, I, was, I thought there was a little, I thought they had a little more. They're going to be good. Bear in mind, two of our starters are rookies that are going to be badass. You know what, Rodrigo? So, oh, by the way, so I'm sitting next to my buddy Josh, who's Hispanic, and they showed him they make that fucking hit. I go, Rodrigo. He goes, Rick, his name's Rodriguez. I said, no, we nicknamed him Rodrigo. He's like, that's <laughs> stupid. I said, yeah, we agree. <laughs> Even the, did you guys catch that? Even the announcer said, well, I don't understand why they gave him a three-syllable nickname. It's kind of a... <laughs> He said something like that. I thought that was great. So, he must be watching the the, the pop podcast, the race yeah. where recaps of Hard Knocks. So. Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing: we have a strong defense. They again, this is their first game. Their first game under lights. Not not mean under lights, but highlighting in the NFL. They're young kids who play college ball. Now they're on a big stage. They're going to take a little bit, get used to the fucking speed. They're going to be good. I'm telling you, Rodrigo and Hutch, we've got some shit right there, man. All right, Rick's drinking the blue Kool-Aid. What about you, Neil? I the think defense that is okay. I'm we were collectively afraid of getting flags thrown. Well, who, look, who, look who was reffing. Well, yeah. yeah. The little, uh, the, what is it, elf on a shelf. What's his Elf name? On his elf on his shelf, yeah. He looks like the elf. He's, 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 ca- he's caused us a couple of uh, headaches in the past on penalties. And Who, one which of one them has he, it? One, one, but he specifically, wasn't so, he the Dallas game? And then also the, yes, um, the face, the fake face, the, the phantom um, yeah, face the, raping of no, Aaron Rodgers that, that time? Rogers, that was Cleet. Yeah, total bullshit. That was Cleet. Oh, that was Cleet. You're right. Sorry, Cleet's the oh, other one. Cleet. Okay. That was Mr. Cleet Blakeman. Um. <laughs> But I do think that they were legitimately afraid of, uh, or not afraid, but like kind of look gun shy of getting flags thrown off. Yeah. Well, you know, the whole game, if you look, they showed the stats at the end of the game. Dude, we were right there with the Eagles. I mean, literally. Eagles. It was like 20, 20 yards difference. Time possession was just a couple minutes off. Total yards. Now, the passing yards, of course, favorite dumbass. But, uh, they were close, man. And, hey, hey, Rick. Rick, I want to put up this uh, this comment. This is right up your alley here. Uh, Gerald was replying to Austin earlier. If we hadn't had that pick six, we would have won the game. But that sounds like something uh, Detroit Rick would say, don't you think, Neil? I think he did. <laughs> well, yeah. That pick six was bad. Yeah. And, and I, would, I went to get a beer. And I turned I went to get a picture of beer. And I turned around like my table. And they're celebrating the end zone. I thought... I thought we had the ball. What the fuck just happened? No, I mean, if, if so, I hope that we don't have a season like this, but if you really want to pick apart and say there's two plays that made or break or broke this game. That was one of them. That was one. The onside kick was the other. That's well, what I thought. Yeah. Those I, two I, those two plays go the other way. They I, don't get six points off that interception, and, and they don't get the yeah. ball off that pick six. And the onside, by 10. the onside kick would give them a short field. But I would throw another play in that. We had him in the backfield with two minutes left, fourth and one. They wrapped their arms around him, and he spun around and made a first down. Yeah, the one thing he you said earlier, they were not tackling well today at all. The only good tackle all. was when Rodrigo pancaked that guy, hip-tossed him. That was yeah. That was about the only well, good – open. he was an open field tackle. He, he stood down, he hit him, he, he did – but there were – guys were just kind of swiping at people. And, and honestly, the yeah. other thing, when this game started, one thing I, kn- I thought was going to go through the entire game, which changed pretty rapidly towards the end of the second quarter was, is the refs were letting them play. Um, yeah. yeah. Usually yeah. by that play. point in the game, we've got 14 holding calls on us. But, dude – You know, dude, and <laughs> – Dude – how many shuffle passes this guy was doing? Okay, those are legal. Oh, let's talk. But, let's talk about that. But the one no. he was in—he was in the fucking pocket, threw it to nobody. Nobody. I I actually texted Neil, and <laughs> I actually texted Neil and said, "Do we still have intentional grounding as a rule?" Because I don't know what he, that first one that he kind of shuffled past was to nobody close. Nobody. The second nobody. one, the second one, they're saying somebody's in the backfield. It's like, yeah, 17 yards yeah, deep. He's not, I, I, he's not catching the ball. Again, that's that's a silly – I don't want to be that guy that, that blames that because that's not the reason we, we lost. We that was we stupid. Don't, we don't want to be Seahawks fans. 
And then when uh, Anzalone got the it was the Anzalone that got the uh, roughing the passer um, yeah. on that one. Uh, yeah. That is exactly right. If he's going to run like a running back and he's going to go out and wait till the absolute last second and ditch passes, then you got to be able to hit him. So, you yeah, know, I'm you happy you did that. What That's a penalty do? that I'll take. Is anybody reading these comics on here? What's up, fellas? Want to know against the spread? Um, yeah, we, run... we did. We did get the spread often, and I picked the Lions on the spread. <laughs> <laughs> is the run game the best part of this team right now? Well, I'm telling you what, dude, Swift, he lit it up, man. Yep. Swift lit it up today. And he hit the middle, 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 the very first run. <laughs> he, <laughs> like seven yep. five. he hit the middle because remember her knocks? Middle, middle. <laughs> I, I'm yelling at the screen, get upfield, get upfield. It's just like every time they were doing it, they would run sideways. It's like, dude, you, you could have got 10 yards just running straight. So I think that's something that special teams has to has to work on for sure. Yep. Yeah, there was, I think, a lot of really good learning opportunities that came out of this game. Um, the receivers, they need some work. I was expecting them to be a strong point of the team. Didn't happen. Go to ahead. be fair, to be fair, they didn't get them involved until late in the second quarter, and then even middle way through the third quarter. How's that being fair? Because that wasn't it was, obviously the run game was a big part of the game plan today. Yeah. So I mean, I'm honored, but you're right. I mean, St. Brown dropped that. They're one. professional football players that went through training camp yeah. and went through preseason. Okay. They should have been ready to play football. And Dwayne's right. If we're going to score that, Dwayne's right. That uh, interception that was tipped right into his hands. Just yeah. being in the right place at the right time. 